Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We're gonna kinda take a little bit of a speculative look over the next couple days, talking about what could be happening with a new player of the month voting, with possible icon moments. You know, I think they're gonna be adding a lot of stuff to the code. I wanna talk about that because we have a new season coming this Friday with possible icon moments and stuff related to moments icons. Possibly this Friday, so we want to talk about that a little bit because right now it just feels like the game is a little bit quiet Now we're getting kind of good content from EA Sports. We've gotten a player SBC uh, For like the past three days except for Sunday when we had the upgrade packs that were released It to me seems we're getting good content during this future stars promo, right? Good consistent content. We had our second um, I guess pick uh, SBC that was released yesterday on Monday with the Pedro Goncalves card with the right wing option and the center mid. Now this is, again, we love this option from EA, the double option player pick uh, where you get two different cards here. The one question I have is why did the right wing uh, not get a dynamic image? It kind of feels like you got gypped there if you did that card, but this card is not the best price point. It's very interesting. Portuguese links, another Portuguese card. Uh, GG's to EA for putting out cool content like that, but I don't think that one is useful to a lot of people on this game. Literally what everybody is doing right now in FIFA is these 81 plus player picks. People are spamming these packs because they're actually pretty good value and they're only gonna get better with value because there's gonna be more cards in packs this week with three extra. Uh, the Reyna, the Dalo, and the Reese James having an, another card in packs for Team 2 of Future Stars. Uh, those those player picks are technically only going to get better uh, with that. So I think a lot of people are going to be doing those over the next... How long are these out for? How, the player picks are out for another week. So for, over the next week, people are going to be spamming these player picks. Even the 82 to 88s, which I somebody packed Dest from one of those in the video we put up uh, yesterday. We packed a Dest from 82 to 88, which is kind of incredible, honestly. But what I want to talk about today is, yes, we're talking about this market. A lot of people were kind of draining their coins. These cards are fluctuating a little bit up and down in price. Uh, I've got some flips going right now. I want to talk about a few of these cards again and how I feel about them. I actually was silver trading for a bit tonight uh, on my low budget, as you can see in the top left, um, the way the what I'm working with right now. But we got some news from EA Sports today that could be a market changer and a market mover, and that's this. Player of the Month voting was released for League Un, the Uber Eats, and Neymar is in the voting. Now, I want to do a little bit of research here because, yes, we have seen big name players in the voting before. Earlier this year, we had Bamba, Ben Yedder, and Mbappe all in the voting. And who won from that voting? Yes, you remember, it was Bamba. It was crazy. And now, I don't know how these votes are really tallied. I'm not I'm not sure what the percentage is of fan vote versus like the league voting it in or whatever. Uh, but Bamba won with a 41% vote earlier this year in October over Mbappe and Ben Yedder. Now, of course, this month we have Kevin Volland, Neymar, and Bulaya as uh, what we can vote for. Obviously, you're going to have a lot of people vote for Neymar, but since Bamba won before, I don't think it's like set in stone that Neymar wins as player of the month. And if stats have anything to do with it, Volland has had five games with four goals and one assist, and Monaco have gone five wins, no draws, and no losses in the month of January. We have to go down here to find Neymar, where PSG had two wins, one loss, and he had three goals. So, technically, if you're looking at it from a stat point of view, Volland would quote-unquote win with the most amount of goal contributions and five wins in a month for Monaco. Like, that's a GG. So, I don't know if, how much that plays into it, but... I'm voting for Neymar. I would ask you guys to vote for Neymar because that would be an SBC that would be a market mover in FIFA and be kind of crazy and be a really hype. And a lot of people would do it. But also, I feel like Kevin Volland for me kind of has that edge right now. So I just kind of wanted to bring that up because we remember last time we thought Mbappe or Ben Yedder was going to win and Jonathan Bamba did kind of out of nowhere. And now he's gotten some more special cards and it's cool and whatever. But... I think a lot of people really, really want Neymar. So hopefully kind of like the popular fan vote in a way can sway this one a little bit. Um, so we'll see what happens with this. I'm not sure how much longer the vote is out for, but if we're looking at a time frame on when we would expect to see that SBC, I think that the Yaziki SBC, I, I did the Yaziki SBC myself. So I'm not entirely sure when he expires, but 
Let me try to find him here really fast. Yaziki, he might already be expired. Yaziki might be expired. So I think that we'll see this Player of the Month SBC decently soon. No, he's got 12 days remaining. So I already crafted him because he was an 87 rated fodder card. He has 12 days remaining. Now they have overlapped some of these before, but I'm pretty sure the League One votes take a little uh, take a little while. So I would not be surprised if it's maybe not this week, but maybe like next week when we would see a Player of the Month Neymar situation. And if that were to come out, we'll take a look at SBC fodder as we get closer to that time frame. The price of that SBC... To be honest with you, we've had a mixed bag of, you know, a lot of a lot of player of the months this year have been well priced and some of them have not been well priced, right? I've got this this is one of the first ever player of the month cards that I have had in my team in FIFA. I like never do player of the month SBCs. This one just made sense for who I had and it was decent value, right? You crafted him during team of the year. He was 900k at a point. He's got a lot of special cards. And this one is like the third highest that's in FIFA. And he was, you know, a really good value player of the month SBC. Joao Felix, probably one of the best player of the month value for card SBCs that we have seen in a long time in FIFA. That wasn't a bad SBC either. So I think that those are two examples that I kind of look upon. There's been many others this year too. Um, if you have a good player of the month SBC, drop it down in the comments. Let me know what you've done and feel good about it. Um, even like the Sun SBC was pretty cheap. Like in the first week that it was out was not terrible value. If you look at what his inform is and what his uh, headliner is, I think that Sun SBC was like 500K, 450,000 coins right away. It wasn't terrible. So some of the player of the months this year, this year have been okay. But I feel like a Neymar player of the month, just like how we've seen in the past with Mbappe player of the months, with the Messi player of the month cards, uh, and Neymar POTM would be very expensive, but it also would be a card that a lot of people would try to work towards and try to craft, right? Because right now you have this Neymar on the market at 2.2 million coins for this 92 rated informed Neymar. If a player of the month came out, it would probably be a 93 Neymar if we don't have any more special cards until his player of the month would come out. He might get up to 90 passing. We put him into another stat category in the 90s, jump from the 80s to 90s in passing, which would be massive. And I know they could easily make that SBC like 2.5 to 3 million coins and call it justifiable in that range. So that's kind of where I would maybe expect to see Neymar's price. We'll see, of course, as we get closer to when that could come out. But just kind of to get that out there and that, you know, just to feel that vibe, right? Player of the month Neymar could be coming. So we'll see as we do get closer and closer to that. But other things I wanted to talk about this week is I, I mentioned it in the market outlook video yesterday, but last year during the winter refresh promo, they dropped icon moments. Now I don't have the actual pitch notes uh, pulled up for this year in FIFA 21, but um, they are dropping icon moments again this year in FIFA 21. And they said, just like last year, that February was going to be the drop time for those cards. And what they did already earlier this year when they released the prime icons, uh, is they released the, um, they released them in two batches. So last year you see, um, February 14th is when they released Winter Refresh. And I think they released, I, f I forget if they did in two batches uh, or if they did all of the icons at once. I think they did two batches of Prime Icon moments last year and they did two batches this year of Prime Icons earlier in December. I don't know if you remember that when they put out Primes in the game. I'm expecting them to do that again this year or you know with the icon moments during this month of february and it just makes sense on the calendar according to how they did it last year and when they dropped them in december of this year kind of in that mid to early month you know like the second and the third week of february just seemed prime time for them to drop some of the icon moments so with that being said and especially as we have a new season coming up in fifa three days left if you're trying to get to level 30 and grind to your pulisic which i think right now i'm on one of the highest season progress levels I've ever been. I'm almost a level 20, man. Let's go. I am closing in on level 20. We'll see if I end up getting that. Um, but if you guys are going for level 30 to get the Pulisic, the Playa, or the Emerson, which probably a lot of you guys are going for Pulisic, um, if you're grinding to level 30, um, you have three days to do that, which is not a ton of time. But since they are also going to be adding most likely new icon swaps, because these expire at the end of the season, um, I think what they would have to do with this next set of icon swaps is incorporate somehow 
icon moments. And since they're going to be dropping those on the market very soon, you know, they'll probably incorporate some icon moments cards inside of the actual, you know, I hope they change the icons that were inside, right? Because base Vidic, you know, mid Haji, you know, mid Suker, prime Kuman. That's, is that mid Kuman? That's prime Kuman, I think. Uh, prime Rykard was eh. Thierry Henry mid. Like, it just really was not good value for the actual icons that were inside of the swaps this time around. Um, so I think that people are looking for more icon moments related cards inside of this and some more big name players and some bigger versions. So along with icon moments coming out as actual players in SBCs, what you might also see is prime icon moments like, you know, maybe not like a prime icon moments guaranteed pack, but imagine like a prime or icon moments um, pack that they could release as a part of swaps, right? That could be something or a mid mid prime or moments like a, a pick from all three different versions that would be a pack that could be very very interesting so i i don't think and i don't want you guys to be surprised this week if you start to see like all these crazy new packs added to the pack code which again like we saw in earlier this year when they dropped uh the new season when we first saw the 83 times 25 and the 85 times 5 we were like whoa what are those packs right so we might see some more crazy packs like that added in for swaps this time around for season, what is it, four? Or Icon Swaps 2, um, as we will see it soon. So that's one thing I wanted to point out is if you start seeing stuff in the code, uh, don't freak out. You might see some people panic on the market, but I don't think you actually have to freak out because that's all that should be up, upcoming this week. Like a car design for Icon Moments, we hopefully will see that too. I mean, I think technically there is maybe a car design already it might already be on the pitch notes page um but it actually hasn't been like added to the code yet and rendered i don't think so we'll see if that does pop up later this week but that's kind of what we're expecting later on in the week now again with the promo with future stars that's going on right now we had another player sbc come out yesterday i'm not too sure what we'd see today on a tuesday i'm kind of just like all right, EA, what, the ball's in your court here. What are you going to do to try to keep this promo going? And, and if you're on EA side of things, you could drop a lot of things today. You could drop more Icon SBCs. Um, you could drop like a one-time 84-plus pack, you know, a player pick, 84-plus player pick, or like the 86-plus upgrade. They could do one of those types of packs today. Um, but we don't have a lot that's expiring, I believe. A lot of this stuff has multiple days left. Maybe some of the daily SBCs are going away. Rooney's still out for a long time. Ribri's still out for a long time. So we still have a lot of SBCs that are out on FIFA right now. So I don't feel like EA maybe has to feel like they have to drop content almost every day. But they are seeming to do a pretty good job of, of being consistent with this promo. So I'm curious to see what happens. And of course, EA probably feels like they've got everybody occupied right now with these new cards that you can go and try out. And, you know, people are putting them in their teams or they're doing the 81 plus upgrade packs, which is sucking a lot of coins off the market right now as well. These cards are fluctuating a decent amount, right? Steven Bergwine, earlier today, this guy's 1.1 mil. Even on a non-weekend league day, look at the fluctuation this card had, down to 1.04 million coins with squad battle rewards. I did say last night that some of these cards were gonna be buys in the Sunday night to Monday morning timeframe. Bergwine was one of those, went from one mil flat up to 1.13. Still fluctuating. Kulusevsky, I think, at one point was down under 500. And then he went to like 540 or something. He went to 500K. And then not quite 540, but he went in the 520s. He's back down under 500K. Um, Subasly was actually one that I bought. I have a Subasly on my transfer list right now. Uh, he went down to 593,000 coins and then spiked up to almost 640. So that was almost a, a profitable flip right there on Subasly. This card is really rare and a lot of people like him. He doesn't have like good work rates, but he's, he's definitely a card that a lot of people want to try out because his stats look insane. One card that really got nosedived in price today was, was this Geo Reyna. And I wonder if this card was just too expensive for its own good in the first place. I don't, I think people are realizing that or that the opinion is getting out that this card just really isn't it. In game, some people say he's actually clunky, which is weird to think about with 99 agility and 95 balance, but it just must be his body type. He's got a high and average body type, six foot one. So maybe that's kind of messing him up and just how he plays in game. And of course, you also have to consider that we're having another version of his card come out, which is going to be a right mid, which in my opinion, I think the right mid one will be less valuable. 
I think it'll be less valuable because he already has a special card on the market. Yes, this other one has two higher pace. It's got one less shot, one less pass, a lot less physical, one higher dribbling. But I think people would value the 91 center attacking mid, Gio Reyna, just because he has the higher physical stat, he's got a little bit better shooting and passing. Uh, and, you know, the two pace probably isn't going to affect him that much. Unless EA change, like, I don't know, if they change his work rates or something, that might make his card a bit different. Um, but I also think that might be affecting his price as well. I don't think that Reese James is going to be affected with his 87 rated CDM like this Reyna is because that Reese James at right back in, is filling up a hole or it's just a very popular card that a lot of people want to use and try out. And people are saying that he's actually really cracked. Last night he was down in the 480s at his lowest and he's kind of been rising all day. He's even hitting a high point right now of 520,000 coins. A lot of people are saying that this card's insane. 2,100 upvotes on Footbin. That means he's got a lot of popularity. Um, and again, just talking about these Future Stars cards, they, a lot of them are kind of still dropping, right? The one thing I will say is that a lot of people are buying Dalo and Lunin because a lot of these cards have dropped, right? 400k for Harvey Barnes, 350 for Dest, 498. Isak is 118,000 coins, right? Kamavinga is even down. But Dalo and Lunin seem to be staying at these values. And I just want to be a little bit transparent. I do have Dalo. And I do have Lunin on my transfer list, right? I do have these guys. Now, I like Delo as an investment. I liked Delo, but also I feel like there is a possibility of overinvestment on some of these cards because people know that they are some of the cheapest. That, yes, Varane is getting an inform, so that might make Lunin go up, might draw some Real Madrid link popularity there. And of course, Delo links to the new Tonali. You're already seeing a lot of links to. Uh, Tonali go up. I bought one Inform Insigne on the weekly sell-off. He was already very high in price, 120,000 coins, which was literally up like 30K from where he was. This guy is now like 140K because there's just not as many left wing options in the Serie A. This guy's really up in price right now. So actually 130, that's actually a solid undercut. This guy was 140 earlier today. He's got multiple other informs as well. So the potential for lazy buyers is pretty big. So you're seeing some other links that are Italian, that are Serie A, going up with that Tonali, but that Dalo and the Lunin, I think, have a possibility to be a bit overinvested. So just be careful with those this week if you're watching those. And I like again, I do have some of those on my transfer list. Um, I bought them, I bought the Dalos for around 70 to 71 K, couple at 72, and I bought the Lunins at 59 to 60. But if I see any jump on those cards, if there's no content today on Tuesday, it might be one of those things where you see them jump up a little bit. And if I can take my 5,000 coin per card profit on these, since there's low tax, if they jump up six or seven K from where they are right now, I might just take the cash there and then look to reinvest, right? Trying to flip this bullseye as well and a little Sancho. So I'm just saying that I fear a little bit of overinvesting possibly on those cards, just kind of being transparent there and how I feel about it. But if you're hitting player picks, GLs. We're going to be opening a lot of those on stream. So if you have any of those, be prepared to roll up on the stream and have some fun. I'll open some on my account, but I'm not going to do that many because I'm really trying to grind the coins back up as we get towards out of this promo and into team of the year. But EA is going to do their or team of the season. Sorry, but EA is going to do the best job they can trying to take all of our coins one little bit at a time uh, with all these promos happening in the second half of FIFA. But that's kind of the video for today, boys. Talking Neymar, Icon Moments, and just Future Stars cards in general. If you liked it, smash a thumbs up, comment down below if you have questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan for the count, and catch you later. Peace out.